Yeah, so let's have Srinivas show us a little bit about uh, MVP usage with Visa. Perfect. Thanks, Steve. So before I get into the actual demo, I just wanted to um, show you the device that we're going to be using for the demo. It's, uh, it's a developer phone. It's a prototype phone uh, that is ARM-based. It's got an ARM processor, which is the predominant processor that is used in mobile phones today. And on top of that, we've installed our uh, bare metal hypervisor, which is about 30K in size. It's very small. And on top of the hypervisor, we're actually running Windows CE for the demo purposes. And this phone has about 256 megs of RAM. All right, with that as kind of the lead-in, I'm going to cut across to the device that we have under the camera and do a quick demo of the app that Peter was just talking about. So Visa launched uh, a Visa app that lets you do uh, a number of things. So I'm going to double click on uh, the Visa app. And as Peter said, there's three things that it does. Alerts, offers, and uh, location. So let me walk through each of those. So when I click on alerts, it, it basically is it, when somebody swipes my Visa card, almost instantaneously I get a notification that my card has been swiped. So here's a number of uh, somebody's been running up you know, a bunch of uh, payments on my card. But I can uh, figure out who's doing it, what the price was, all that good stuff. And when I back out, when I look at offers, offers is basically a, a mechanism that Visa has in place such that based on your transaction history, they can send you some coupons, right? In this case, uh, there's a coupon for a Carnival Cruise. And they can use that the next time I try to go on a cruise, which is all fair enough. And the last thing that I wanted to show in this particular app is the locator. And here's the way I think about the locator. So tonight, when you go to the Foreigner concert, right, at, at the party, you have a couple of drinks, and you get this overwhelming urge to buy a Foreigner t-shirt, but you just don't have any cash on you, right? And you got to figure out where the closest ATM is. So you can click on the locator to get um, a list of all the different ATMs in this neighborhood. Oh, there you go. There are a few ATMs around here in San Francisco. But anyway, so uh, what Visa has done is a, a nifty little integration. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Um, but I can uh, actually zoom in. I think the closest one is across the street from W in case you need to know. Uh, but you know, it's, it's a nice little nifty integration you know, with Google Maps. Uh, it gives you the convenience you know, from your mobile phone. But you know, you're probably thinking right about now, you know, you're saying, listen, mate, this, this app is really good. It's probably something that I want on my phone. But what does this really have to do with mobile virtualization? Why are they showing this in the keynote demo? So let me tell you why. This app is actually an Android app running on a Windows mobile phone. Right. You probably don't believe me, do you? Let me show you. When I, cut, when I back out, here's Android running on a Windows phone at the same time. So I've got two operating systems running at the same time on the same device. I don't have to reboot. I don't need two phones. Any app that I want, I can run on my phone. And I can run global time. It's just straight up Android. Right. So I'm running two operating systems at the same time. And so the two. Uh, takeaways are that one, when you actually package up your application in a device independent virtual machine, you can actually deploy that application on any device. And that addresses the complexity issue that you're talking about. Right? And the second thing is, with a seamless integration, if you, if, you, if you noticed, the Visa app was just a little icon on my Windows uh, desktop. I just double clicked on it, just like I would any Windows app, and it launched the app. And I didn't even know that it was Android until I actually backed out of the, the application. So that seamless integration basically means you can have all these different types of applications right next to each other. And you won't even know that underneath the covers, they're actually running on a different operating system. Because as a consumer, you don't really care. So the combination of being able to package up your app as a virtual machine and the seamless integration means that consumers now have the ultimate application freedom to run any app on any device. Great. Thanks, Peter. Right. Thanks, Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you.